Today I'm going to talk about my wireless follow focus rig. Before looking into my wireless follow focus setup, I'd like to share with you another project I'm currently working on. In my previous video, where I talk about using manual focus lenses on Zhiyun Cran 3 Lab gimbal, I mentioned that the follow focus motor barely works for my camera because these Konica lenses are relatively small and there are limitations on how you can position the follow focus motor. In order to make it work better, I decided to try 3D printing to make my own focus gear rings. Basically, I just needed to make the overall di diameter of the lens bigger so that the motor can engage with the gear rings much better. Here is the initial result and I'm very happy about it. It works very well. In the next few weeks, I might just 3D print these gear rings for each of my Konica lenses. Now let's look at my wireless follow focus setup. Here are the equipment I'm using. The Toyota Nucleus Nano wireless follow focus. The Atomos Shinobi 4K HDMI monitor. Harleyland Mars 300 transmission system. And several items from small rig. And of course some cables and the batteries. So let's start, it. let's start it with the handle and the follow focus wheel. This is actually a top handle uh, for camera rigs, but I'm going to use it vertically and attach the follow focus wheel on its side. The Nucleus Nano comes with a quick release plate, um, but the bottom of it is not flat as I expected. Fortunately, um, I can mount it on the handle this way and put the focus wheel on. The small screen is still facing me, and this round stop button is basically useless because it's not compatible with Konica U with Canon EOS R. I keep saying Konica. Um, I'm using a Canon remote uh, instead, Re remote control instead. So before I mount the monitor and the wireless video receiver, let me put on the tripod first. This small tripod is from Really Right Stuff which I bought several years ago for a small gimbal. It has a quarter inch thread, so I need an adapter to connect it to the handle. Then the monitor is mounted on the top of the handle with this monitor mount. And this, there is a cold shoe mount on this end of the handle. This monitor mount is from SmallRig, which I reviewed uh, previously in my Canon USR rig video. You may want to check that out if you haven't. And the next component is the video transmitter. Well, actually, it's the, the receiver part. Um, here I have a small rig quick release unit that designed specifically for Harley Dan transmitters. I put this on the back side of the handle. Usually this connect to the uh, camera rig. Uh, these transmitters come with a quarter inch adapter if you, buy, if you buy it brand new but I bought them used on Amazon in like new condition and somehow they don't include that plate with the transmitters. Otherwise I could just secure this receiver directly on the handle itself. Anyway that's not an issue at all because I like this setup better because uh, now I can put it on and take it off easily. Then connect the receiver and uh, the monitor with the HDMI cable. Both the monitor and the receiver has a full-size HDMI port. Also, both of them use L-series batteries. So depending on which size of the battery you are using, you could have a very light and compact wireless follow focus rig like this. Now let's look at my camera setup uh, briefly. The follow focus motor needs to be powered uh, through the micro USB port. In order to get more torque to turn these manual focus lenses, I use a V-mount battery and power the motor using the D-Type port because it provides a higher voltage 
than the USB port. And most importantly, the motor is able to take higher voltage input. Please do not use this setup for other USB devices or chargers. It may cause damages or burn your devices. And the battery is mounted on this small rig V-mount plate. And I connect it to a rail block and secure it on the 50mm rod. I add a cold shoe mount on the back side of it so that I can put my monitor here and the video transmitter right behind it. Or I can put both of them on the top of the rig depending on whether I need to add other accessories like microphones. So this is it. This setup works like a charm. Let me know if you have any questions about this setup uh, or any suggestions to make it even better. The details of each component are provided in the description below. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you next time.